If we take Einstein seriously, scientific communication is as much about critical thinking as it is about communication. Let us look at an abstract from nature and see how this plays out in practice. The first part of the abstract gives the background of the work. In this case, the work is about viruses circulating in animal populations. The next section presents the problem. Climate and land use change are creating opportunities for viral transmission between previously isolated species, and this may influence disease emergence. The third section presents methods and results, with emphasis on the results. Finally, the abstract ends with the major conclusions of the paper. In this case, the authors highlight the need to pair viral surveillance with tracking of species range shifts to monitor disease emergence. These four sections provide a beautifully clear summary of the research. It's very easy to understand. What do we see when we look at a student abstract? We often see something like this. The background is good, if a bit long. The problem statement is weak. The only reason given for this research is that no one has done it before. Then the results and significance are intermixed in a way that is difficult to interpret. These features are clear indications that the student does not fully understand his research. Einstein was right. If you cannot explain it clearly, you do not understand it well enough. Using a simple four-part structure will help you understand the importance of your research. Try using this form on your next abstract. You will be happy with the result. Please subscribe for more updates and check out my book, Presenting Science Concisely.